Hello and welcome to Cosmo Sexy vs Skanky. I'm Lindsay Rodriguez and this is my bar hopping co-host Mike Cannon. Hey everybody. Going to a bar is a great way to meet someone because of the energy, the vibe, the loads of liquid courage. The low lighting so you can't see the person you're talking to as a mutant. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, we wanted to know what guys look for when they're at a bar, so we hit the streets to find out. If a girl was kind of sitting by herself, would you approach that girl? Yeah, I think if she's uh, if she's interested, and you can see that just by you know if she's made eye contact and stuff like that. I have a move where I, I will I will fall back in my chair on purpose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just pick up the conversation from the middle, it's as if you've already been talking, and and it's already going great. It's right. already just. <laughs> How do you like separate her from the pack? Do you just kind of go in, present yourself to the group, and then you just uh, get all of their numbers and whoever uh, responds to your text? Honestly, I wouldn't even go in there. I wouldn't. Even you wouldn't? Go. Nah, nah. You can't with a group of girls, man. It's it's so hard. I think you need to make an impression on her friends too, so that they're willing to let her go. Just brainwash somebody else to go in there and make a fool of himself. Maybe he goes in there and just like tries to talk but then throws up in a circular motion on almost everyone but her and then they're <laughs> all freaking out. You kind of grab her, you're like, wow, that was crazy, You're the right? hero. What is the best way to attract that guy across the bar? Well, here to give us some tips is someone who's obviously crazy because she's best friends with Mike Cannon. <laughs> she's a former bartender and a very hot comic. Her name is Jessie May and she's here. Hi. Hey. Now, first of all, you got to tell me how on earth did you end up getting involved with this clown? It's just the industry. You attract other slobs. That's what happens. <laughs> He's a fellow slob. And exactly what's in our hands. Slob juice. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Thanks nice so meet much you for coming on. Mike, cheers. cheers. Cheers from a distance. Cheers from a distance. Should we get things started as per usual with the game of I Never? Yeah, sure. Right. Um, I've never used a fake accent to pick up somebody at a bar. Does it count if you use the accent to get them away from you? Absolutely, okay. yeah. It's That's the why same I drink. Thing. Okay. <laughs> what accent did you use? Just my normal Syracuse accent. Oh, are you, you're in, oh, you're very interesting. You're in a financial business? <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, that'll do it. Gone. Well, I'm assuming you must have seen it all in your years as a bartender. I want to know what, like, flirtation moves and body language tips have you seen that have just gone really well and what has flopped worse than Waterworld? I think what flops worse is, like, when women come to the bar and they have, like, notepad and homework and they're just kind of like I've seen girls huddled. like that. Really? Kind of You know who does open. that? Bloggers. And I'm like, do you understand you've just made yourself 100% unapproachable? Unapproachable. Right. Like I feel like if you're trying to meet a dude, you can't have too many like this, you know, things that are going to distract you. Yeah. And you shouldn't be like <laughs> You shouldn't have like a like a, a sour like a sour like mug like, eh, I hate life. Yeah, have an inviting <laughs> soft face. Yeah, and open your How shoulders. How that look? Right tell. Yeah, soft. Can, can we try that? Like that's what you should look like at the bar. That's right. how you're gonna get a husband. It's the best thing I've ever yeah. had. Eye contact is important. I, Dudes love women's eyes just as much as they love other parts. Other parts <laughs> of women. Eye contact, I think, is like the most important thing. If you see a dude that you're interested in, bam, zinger, toss him the ball. Lock that in. Your see, that's very true because a guy typically has to make the first move or or just will initiate conversation. But it, we do need that kind of he needs affirmation. The, the green light. Yeah. Well, I want to pick your brain also about like flirting and body language tips. But first, I think it's time for another round of I never. And you're the guest, so do you have one for us? Yeah. Um. I guess I've never had the panky panky with a guy in a bar, like in the actual bar. Really? But you work. Can we also consider that a you girl? You guys are slobs. Yeah. Oh. You're both slobs. To be fair, he was the owner. It was after hours. Did you get free cocktails? Was it was okay. my boyfriend. To I be mean, fair, he was the bus boy and he cleaned the table <laughs> fast. <laughs> so when going to a bar, Jesse May, what fashion choices should we be making? Depends on what you want. Do you want the guy to be in your bed at night or do you want him to meet your mom? Ooh, how about a those little, are different outfits. A little bit of both. Okay, well, why don't I give you some scenarios and then we can figure out what the best outfit would be for those particular bars. So, um, Lower East Side Dive Bar. Uh, a tattoo and a labia ring. <laughs> okay, what about... <laughs> I like her around here. Well, I'm very interested to hear then what you would suggest for an upscale cocktail bar, Upper East Side. Upper East Side. Now, you probably should just wear like a normal dress because Upper East Side, I feel if you do anything crazy, they're just going to arrest you. They've got no sense That's a different world up there, yeah. All right, throw you a little curveball. Medieval theme bar. 
Oh my God, B.O., <laughs> just wear B.O. <laughs> B.O. and burlap. I mean, look, we should just ask you straight out, although <laughs> Lord knows what the answer is going to be. What are you looking for? Like, when you go to a bar, what do you want a girl to be wearing? Uh, I, I don't know enough about women's clothing to even know what I want. I know what a peplum is. And I, what is that? I don't even know what the heck that is. This, this is a peplum. Oh. A peplum is bas basically a fupa cape. A fupa, well, or in my case, I ate pasta for lunch and now I'm going to wear this. A fupa cape. That's what it is. I'm trying to think of an I never, but I'm just, I've just done so much up stuff at bars that it's really difficult. I know, it's hard. I feel like I never in bars, like that's just. How about never have I ever run out on my tab? Oh, okay, was not expecting that. Who's got money all the time? Well, I, I didn't even do it on purpose. I did it when, when the service was so bad that the woman didn't visit us for another hour. She didn't even well, know. Well, then that's not really your right. fault. She but never I mean, gave I you the still, check. She gave us the check. Oh, and, you just and then we were waiting to, to pay her, and she just disappeared for like an hour and 15 minutes in the bathroom. Listen, I was busy vomiting in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> she was either vomiting, day. making out with a woman named Carmine, and, and she had good done. reasons for not coming back for an hour and a half. I don't ever want to leave any of you. Jesse May, I'm sure you agree. You can tell a lot about a guy from what he's drinking, correct? Mm -hmm. So let's play a game of Dakota's drink. Super simple. We'll just have a look at some pictures of alcohol and then we will describe what kind of man we think is consuming that beverage. Fancy. First up, beer. Well, I mean, like Budweiser. If it's a Budweiser, he's just come. He's a boring he guy. I feel like he's American. I feel like yeah, he works, he's a financial dude, he has cufflinks, he has his college ring. Well, okay, what about a guy that is drinking a craft beer? I can't think of a name of one because I don't drink it myself. He puts conditioner in his beard. He, <laughs> he also raises llamas and organic chickens. Basically, he's from Brooklyn. He's, he's from Brooklyn or Vermont. Yeah. He loves his mom, he makes organic yogurts. I say that plurally because he has different flavors. Organic yogurt. You're welcome. Should we have a look at another drink? We should. Yes. Jamison and ginger. Uh, <laughs> just call it Jamison. Jamison and ginger. Well, what is it called Jameson. then? Jamison. I'll tell you who drinks Jamison and ginger. It's a very attractive man who may be insecure, but he's very funny. funny. He, he loves life. Has a lesbian he loves, beard. He has a lesbian beard. His name is Mike He's Cannon. a hilarious comedian. He was kind of nice side. teeth. In certain lighting. <laughs> in certain lighting. So this is a drink that you are comfortable sipping on when you're in a bar. This is what I order, yeah. This when is I'm... somebody who's like, I'm a drunk, but I'm not. But I am, but I don't want people right. to know. I'm and a drunk, but I'd like to be refreshed at the yeah, same time. It's... So, okay, if a guy is drinking a tequila shot, I'm gonna marry him. He's got knuckle hair. That's also very white collar, though, because a lot of like agents and people in the industry drink tequila shots. They wouldn't drink Patron. whiskey. Patron, can I they say go, yes. Patron shots. The, the industry people drink Patron shots and Jaeger. Yeah. Those those are like, yo, Jaeger, 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 Jaeger bombs. Down, yeah. Ugh, tequila, that's, if you're drinking shots of tequila, you've got a ticket to my vagina monologue. Our final drink, absinthe. This is a guy with massive mummy issues who just needs to escape. What do you I don't know, I mean, this is like some weird scientist shit. I can't, absinthe? I can't even spell or say this word. <laughs> what are the cubes? What are the cubes? This Sugar. shit looks, ugh. Did I, I mean, encounter at the awful, awful taste? This is Dracula. This is a real thing. People drink this Whoa. shit. Yes, Turn people of the drink century. this stuff. First of all, when the New York Giants won their second Super Bowl uh, against the Patriots, I have a bottle of absinthe, and instead of preparing it like a human being should do, I opened the bottle, pounded it, took my shirt off, and ran around the block screaming about the Giants for the next 45 minutes. And you have By the yourself. biggest mommy issues of anyone I've ever met. So I dad issues. All right, he's the one that left. <laughs> literally just proved my point. Exactly. On Amen. that note, one last round of never have I ever, never have I ever returned to the scene of a crime when I've been kicked out of a bar the night before. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink because that sounds fun. <laughs> Can we get a final score, please? Well, you guys are both as inappropriate as each other, not surprising, because you tied. You both lost, never have I ever. As the tiebreaker slash punishment, we have some beers for you to Skulls, can we bring them in? Get yourself on the birthday. Okay, you've got your beers. We need to have a tiebreaker. Whoever finishes at last is the loser and a sissy. And go! I mean, but your beer is. Uh, oh my goodness, the suspense. That's going up your nose and he's finished. Yeah, that was. Oh. Ah! <laughs>
Look at your armpits, you slob. Look at your armpits, you You fupa cape. I'm a lady. Now right, come sit back down. You're crying. Look at your cry. And he has his tears of victory. Sorry to say, but Mike uh, did win that fair and son square. Of a, I'm Jessie a lady. Made. I'm still a lady. Where's makeup? Mike, congratulations. You are the winner. You can go home victorious. If you liked this episode, well then, gosh darn it, you should just watch them all because I think we're fabulous. A lot of cool bonus video clips in there as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the Hello Sal channel and check back every week for more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you slob. Jesse May, thank you for coming in. I've never had so much fun Toe on the show five. in my life. Toe high five. There Bam. you go. I would cheers you, but you finished your beer. Yep. I'm pregnant. And I'm honestly, pregnant. <laughs> in future, I would pick your friends a little bit more carefully. <laughs> I Kidding. love them. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click on this link to check out all the trends over at cosmopolitan.com. And remember, when stepping out at those bars, be sexy and not, not skanky. skanky. Bye.